Hey, what's up? Well, this is something you should do. Call your furnace guy and make sure they're certified. And this particular video is about draft testing, not so much combustion testing. And so this is a combustion test. And uh, let's move over to the draft test. You need to do... So here's a draft test. So here's why you need to know your draft. So basically, you drill a hole in the, in the flue. And this is this is called the Dwyer's draft gauge, and you can see the little ball is right there, and that's where you want it between these two. Now, if it's below this line, below one inch, that's poor draft, and if it's like way up top, it's too high a draft. And here's the deal: whenever you have a, com uh, a gas fire system, you have what's called a stack effect. The hot air is going to go up the flue. Now, if the flue is restricted, if the flue is restricted or covered or plugged, there's an animal in there. Um, or the flue's too short or too long, or there's too much stuff connected into it, <clears throat> then you have poor draft. Now, negative draft means the air's coming back down, okay? And then you could easily do that by, let's say, a house fan up in your attic. You turn the house fan on and don't have open windows, boom, you got negative pressure. It screws it up. And so, so the whole house drafting thing, fireplaces affect it, fans affect it, opening, closing windows affect it, okay? Um, new furnaces, a lot of times you have issues where you have an old furnace with a high stack temperature and then a new furnace because you could connect the old furnace uh, to the same pipe as the water heater. But now you have a high efficient furnace so now that the stack temperature drops, all of a sudden the, the draft changes. Well, let's talk about draft. Now here's the real problem with draft. If you have poor draft, okay, either A, you're going to create, well, let's, let's just not break it down to A or Bs. Let's just say you can have incomplete combustion. So if the, if the, if the um, burners, and this is draft not just on your water heater, but draft on your gas appliances, your furnaces, okay? And so um, if you have poor draft, you can create incomplete combustion. And incomplete combustion means that now you don't have enough oxygen going down below where the water heater burners are at. And now you're burning carbon dioxide, or you just don't have enough oxygen supply, and you create carbon monoxide and aldehydes. And so, um, so basically, uh, um, poor draft is a key element. You always got to make sure. Now, some people don't have this thirty dollar. You can buy this gauge. It's only thirty bucks. It's called a Dwyer's draft gauge. And all you need to do is drill a hole. And you know what? You don't have to patch that hole if you don't want, because it's draft. Nothing's going to come out of that hole. It's just going to go in that hole, right? But you can you can buy some steel tape and high temperature caulk and ca cover it up if you like, and um, and or a lot of times people also will put their hand they'll put their hand like right on the burners, and if their hand gets hot, that means it's spilling. That means it's negative draft. Um, if you don't want to burn your hand and you don't want to check it, then just use a cold glass jar and just put the jar there up against that, and if it gets foggy. Guess what? Negative pressure. And it might be because your cold air return is leaking in the basement or the cold air return isn't connected properly like the Cleveland drop. It could be that you've got fans or you bought a new kitchen. You got the super high, this high uh, volume fan because, you know, you wanted the best fan on this planet. And, and that can cause negative pressure. So negative pressure and positive pressure is a problem in homes. It's especially a problem when it affects the draft. And this is draft testing. Okay, and you see the draft gauge there, it's about one, okay, um, one in, inch column is what it's called, and that one's between one and two, and that, that one we can't, that one actually has poor draft, look, right there, bing, zero draft, that's negative pressure, okay. Now, it could, if it fluctuates, that's a problem too. So now we have to go through the house and find out why we're having differential pressures throughout our home. This is a combustion analysis, and we've got videos on this. You also want to check for, you know, the content of the combustion fumes. And there, there we are. We patched it with a little tape right there. And um, it's, it's the, the temperature tape sometimes melts or comes off because um, it does get pretty hot there. And so here we can see what we're doing. We're doing a combustion test and a draft test. And I have more videos um, on combustion analysis. Now, 
if you have any other problems in your house, uh, all you got to do is Google, call Marco, M-A-R-K-O, call Marco with a question, and it'll prompt you. <clears throat> I give you 15, 20 minutes. It's a $29 fee. I can try to solve your problems or at least help you out or give you shed more light on the, on the situation, whether whatever it is, in a building or even strip malls, roofs, moisture, concrete, doesn't matter. I've been doing this for 40 years, 18,000 inspections I've had. I'm an engineer. I've had a lot of licenses. I've written, had publications. I've written a book. So call Marco with a question. If you have an issue you'd like to solve or at least talk about 15, 20 minutes, I'll probably ask for photos. Not necessarily. Sometimes we don't need them. Also, down below, I do have some products that I will sell. Maybe I'll put a Dwyer's gauge down there for you. Um, and uh, usually I try to relate my products. I have an Amazon affiliate. Also, please rate and subscribe and also ring the bell. That'll let me know, you know, let you know if I've got new videos. Um, if you want to look for something special, just go to my um, my Cleveland Marco. That's my that's my uh, YouTube channel. And in the, in the it'll say search and a little search on the bottom. You could plug in, you know, carbon dioxide or you could plug in whatever black stains, black spots. You know what? It'll be a video there because I have a lot of videos and um, a lot more videos every year in the winter and less in the summer. Um, summer, more more gardening stuff. So if you're not into organic gardening, hey, remember, it's what you put in your, in your house, which is you, your body, and what you put in with the house you, your body goes into. That's what I'm into. So foods and, and safety of your home, environmental concerns are all... Uh, always big time in houses, indoor air quality, air particulate, you know. So, hey, thanks for coming on. Please rate, subscribe, and call Mark with a question.